What's up, fam? Welcome to another episode of Message in the Dark. I'm at work, of course. I guess I'm going to make this a little series. Um, is I work graveyard shift, and where I'm um, working at tonight, um, it's pretty dark, so you guys won't be able to see my face. But I guess this part of it makes it interesting, right? So if it sounds a little bit weird and you can hear my reverb, uh, this is why. Um, once again, I would like to thank everybody who purchased my album, bought singles, um, um, shared, reposted, spread the word. I really see you guys and I appreciate it so much. Team all the way driven for life, baby. ATWD TV, yay! Um, now to the subject at hand. Um, I wanted to discuss the feeling of being stuck. Uh, it kind of, I don't know, I feel like I'm doing a radio show, but <laughs> it's kind of been on my heart the last few days or so. Um, just being stuck, not necessarily knowing what to do next. I mean, sometimes, um, it's almost like you know what to do, but it doesn't seem like it's enough. And even in the process of making this album and trying to, trying to promote it, I had a lot of people, uh, give me their word to say they was going to do this, they was going to do that. And then, um, didn't follow through which can be kind of disappointing. You know, certain things you really don't care for, but then other things, it kind of hits your heart because you, you look forward to it. You know what I'm saying? But I realized from the top, top from, from the bottom to the top, I should say, um, it's always going to be there. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure Nicki Minaj and, uh, you know, even uh, Michael Jackson and all those greats from the past to the present, alive and dead, have all have experienced some type of disappointment, whether it's in record sales, concert, um, endorsements, you know what I'm saying? You're going to experience disappointment. Things are going to happen, things are going to play out, and it's not going to always work in your favor, but you you got to keep moving, you know what I'm saying? And that's just a part of life. Everything ain't going to be a win-win situation. Sometimes you might lose in this way, but you're winning this way. You're, you're, lo you're winning this way, but you're losing this way. You know what I'm saying? Your career might be great, and then your family falling apart. Your family all together, then your career falling apart. You know what I'm saying? Or it's not at its best. But that's just life. But you have to keep moving. And um, this is what I say. You, you know, the guys who follow me know that I say, I say it like this. Um, do what you know how to do and perfect your craft. And um, what I've been working on as of lately is improving my relationship with God. And sometimes I think about how my relationship with him used to be. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a struggle reading my Bible. I used to play the keyboard and not even write songs. It was just my intimate time with him. It, it came natural. It, it just, it wasn't hard. It wasn't something I had to pencil in or think about twice. It was just something that I did. And I missed that. You know what I'm saying? And I want that, that innocence, that purity back where pleasing God was the only thing that was important to me. But, you know, as you get older and life happens and, you know, you go through relationships and you get your heart broken. You go through friendships and, you know, people break away from you. All these things that happen as you get older and things that would basically try to pull you away from God in one way or another, it can be life altering and you kind of lose your focus. And whenever you lose focus on anything, it hurts you. And so I'm just trying to get back to that place where pleasing God was the only thing that's important to me. And once you get your focus back with God, even, and, and this is one, one thing before I forget, this is one thing I've discovered. You're going to feel stuck one way or another. And I, I've realized serving God, just because you're living right, doesn't mean everything is going to happen like boom, boom, boom. You know, there's going to be seasons where things fall into place real, real quick. But, you know, just like the seasons of the year, everything doesn't move right along. You have summer, you have spring, you have fall. You know, you have all these things that's going to happen, but you have to adjust. If it's summer, I'm sure you probably wouldn't necessarily want to be uh, suited from top to bottom. But um, if it's winter, then that's appropriate. But if it's summer, you want to dress cool. You want to be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? You might want to put on slides. So you have to adjust to the seasons of life. You know what I'm saying? And just because uh, things not working out today doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be that way tomorrow. Your life could be terrible today and for the last 15 years, so to speak, and then tomorrow your whole life can change for the better, and everything you've been waiting, praying, and fasting for will all make sense. All the suffering, you won't even think about all the bad things that have happened to you. You'll just be grateful that those days are over, 
and you can move forward. So I just want to encourage you guys to stay all the way driven, my team all the way driven, my supporters, those that genuinely support me, that buy my music, that understand my ministry, that look out for me. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. I, I sincerely, I really do. Um, I'm not going to preach. <laughs> But uh, make sure you guys share this video by the album saying goodbye uh, on iTunes, Spotify, CD Baby, Amazon, anywhere that music is sold online. It is there for you guys. Uh, and a deluxe edition is coming out soon. So make sure you guys follow all my social links and you won't miss a beat. I love you guys. Be blessed. Stay driven.